Hi, in front of me I have Garmin Vivo Move Sport and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with your Android phone. You can pair this watch with your phone in two ways. First way is to pair it during the setup process, so if your watch is brand new or it has been resetted to the factory default settings, as this one, as you can see, you have this welcoming screen, so this watch is new or it's been reset, uh, resetted to the factory uh, default settings. And the second option is uh, to pair it uh, via settings after the watch uh, has been already set up. So it's already working, you can use it, and then you can go to settings and pair it uh, from there. First, I'm gonna show you the first method, of course, the uh, during setup uh, method, because my watch is not set up. So, uh, first thing you will need to do is to wake up, or rather, turn on your watch. And to turn on the watch, you can simply plug it into the charger uh, via the charging cable, and then unplug it. And after two seconds or more, maybe a couple seconds, your watch should turn on, and you should see this welcoming screen, the hello. Once you see the screen, just simply tap on it, and now you should see the list of languages. And you can select the language you can you want to use on your watch, rather, my bad. To do it, simply tap on the arrows right here to scroll through the list, find the language you like to use, and tap on it. I'm gonna tap on English. And now, as you can see, we have option per now. And to pair this watch with your phone, simply tap on it to select it. You can also uh, tap on this arrow to go uh, and select the option skip pair. So basically you can set up, set up the watch without uh, pairing it. But we want to pair it, so let's select the pair now and tap on it. And as you can see, now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So let's open the uh, Play Store on our phone. Give me a couple of seconds, I need to verify that it's me. Okay, and once you open the Play Store, tap on search right here, type in Garmin Connect, and then tap on the search button. And you should see this page right here, tap on the install button to download and install the application. Once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. And here we need to log in into Garmin Connect account. You can also create a new account if you need it by tapping on create account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, accept the terms of use, and then tap next. Now I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address, and then tap right here and enter the password, so give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done, tap on next. Oh, give me a couple of seconds. Okay. Once you log in, you should see this. Basically, the app is asking for the location permission. Before we continue, I go back to your watch, and as you can see, uh, it uh, it isn't in the pairing mode anymore. You can see the pair now option, so let's tap on it again and put the watch into pairing mode. Now you can tap on manage permission and allow the permission for the location if you want. I'm gonna tap on while using the app. And as you can see, it detected our watch. Let's tap on connect it. Then tap on OK. Now we need to enter the code from our watch. So let's tap right here and type in the code. Then tap OK. Now let's tap on Next. Here we can uh, set up our sleep time, basically when we go to bed and when we wake up. This is helpful if you want to use uh, Do Not Disturb mode uh, during sleep option. So basically, if you go to sleep, uh, your watch will enter the Do Not Disturb mode and you won't, give, you won't receive any notifications during that time. And you can do it by tapping on one of the options swiping up and down on the screen. And then second option, swiping up and down again. And once you're done, 
you can tap on next, then tap yes. Here we can select on which uh, wrist we plan to wear under watch. Uh, you can select the right or left, then tap next. And here we can select the watch face for our watch. We have a couple of them. Select the one you like and then tap on next. Now we can edit the goals, basically like steps, uh, I believe uh, burned calories and stuff like that. To do it, you can tap on edit my goals. If you want to skip this, you can skip it by tapping on skip. Let's tap on edit my goals. And as you can see here, we have the goals we can change. We have steps, uh, uh, fluent uh, consumed per day and uh, intensity minutes per week. So basically the activities. And you can edit them by tapping on the bracket right here and entering the value uh, you want. And once you're done, simply tap on next. Here we can allow uh, the notification access for the Garmin Connect app. Uh, if you want to get the notifications from your phone on your watch, basically be notified on your watch about the notifications from your phone, you need to allow the notification access. If you don't want to use this feature, simply tap on skip to keep it disabled. I'm gonna tap on allow notification access and then allow to allow it. Here we can allow the calendar access. This is to manage your calendars and stuff like that, events. Uh, from your watch and you can allow it or the, or keep it disabled by tapping on skip. I'm gonna allow it and allow the permission. Uh, next we have call log access. So if you want to get the uh, information about who's calling you on your watch uh, or rather who's calling you on your phone and get the information on your watch, my bad, uh, you can tap on allow call access, uh, call log access or skip it if you don't want to use this feature. Here we have a phone call access again. It's everything is for the notifications. So if you want to get the notifications about uh, calls from your phone, you need to allow the phone call access or deny it or skip it if you don't want to use it. Next we have messages. This is for messages. Again, you can allow it or skip it. And now tap on sync now. Then finish. And here we have a tutorial how to use our watch. You can tap on next to go through it. I'm just gonna tap on skip once it loads. Now we can go through tutorial, but I'm just gonna tap on skip to skip it. And once you're done, you can tap on finish. Now you can go to your watch and again, you can uh, go through the tour. So basically tutorial how to use your watch. You, if you want to do it, tap on check mark. I'm just gonna tap on X to skip it. And as you can see, our watch is working now. Okay. We can also here tap on uh, get started if you want to uh, configure more options like safety, uh, pulse oximeter, widgets and stuff like that. You can tap on get started and do it there. Basically, if you tap get started, you have um, information what to do and how to do it. And also it's gonna ask you to uh, manage the weather location. So you can tap on manage weather location and you can select to use either a phone location or fixed location. If you select the fixed location, you will need to select the location for your weather, of course. And you can do it uh, on the map like this. Okay. And now you should see the main page of the uh, Garmin Connect app and on it you have this icon right here at, at the top. That's the icon of our watch. You can tap on this icon to open the device page for your Garmin uh, Vivo Move Sport. And here we have the device page. Okay. Now I'm gonna unpair the watch uh, from my phone quickly and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch via the settings, so the second option. Okay, so let's say your watch is already set up and you want to pair it with your phone. You can do it by uh, tapping on the screen twice to wake it up, then press and hold on the screen to open the menu. Here, swipe on the screen to scroll through the menu. Find this option with the phone and Bluetooth icon, tap on it, then scroll through the menu until you find uh, the phone icon with the Bluetooth, tap on it, as you can see, the watch entered the pairing mode. Now you can open the app, of course, 
uh, in the app you can tap on plus again you can allow the permission but the app should automatically detect your watch and then you can basically go through the same steps as we did, did the before uh, during the uh, uh, pairing process okay and that's how you pair this watch with your android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video